Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I will do a side-by-side -side comparison between Apple's Cleanup versus Google's Magic Editor. We all know that Apple is very good at marketing its products, but in real life they usually disappoint, especially when it comes to smart features or AI. So let's find out if Apple's first trial in generative AI is any good or the same story repeats itself. On a side note, today I will upload these 12 stunning backdrops to the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. So if you want to support the channel and give your phone a fresh new look, the Play Store download link is in the description, which will give you a lifetime access to all my exclusive wallpapers for just $1.99 and now let's start the comparison. I have a bunch of photos to cover most of the scenarios we might come across and here's the first shot. On iOS to access cleanup all you need to do is to tap the edit button and you will find it right away at the bottom and it will automatically give you some suggestions. On the pixel I will be using magic editor instead of magic eraser that we got a long time ago and now let's start the comparison. On both you can circle brush or tap things to select or remove immediately from the photo plus the ability to pinch to zoom for precise selections. But both work differently. On iOS, when you tap or brush anything, it will immediately remove it on the go, while on the pixel, you need to make your selections first and then the AI will erase the items. So let me finish selecting everything on both devices to show you the end result. The first thing worth mentioning is the iPhone is much faster as it removes your selections as you go while the Pixel will remove them at the end. In contrast, the Pixel will give you far more options to choose from in addition to the ability to regenerate new results if you didn't like any of the default four options. Maybe it's not very useful in this scenario but when things get complicated you will appreciate having this feature. Now let's compare the results and I'm gonna pinch to zoom on the most complicated part of this shot. And let me show you that both did an amazing job and both photos look very clean. And here's that before and after on the Pixel. And here's that before and after on the iPhone. So it's a draw between the two. And now let's move on to the next one. The second scenario is a bit more complicated. In this case, I want to remove this very thin wire and the fence. So let's start on both. Now let's take a look at the results. You'll notice here that the pixel added this green part to replace the fence which doesn't look very convincing and it did the same for all the photos before regenerating a new set. While on the iPhone it picked a better color which looks more convincing in my opinion. Still it's not perfect, I still can see uh, remaining parts of the old fence but overall the color is better and it looks more natural to me. The second good thing about the iPhone photo is in how it removed the wire from the shot. You will notice here that it looks almost perfect while the pixel removed a small part from the building. And I found the same issue in all four options I got. Like this, you will see here, it didn't do well in removing the wire as the iPhone. So overall, the iPhone wins this one. And to be fair, I regenerated four more options on the Pixel and I'm still getting the same exact issues. Still, the wire is not perfectly removed and the green part at the bottom are exactly the same. In the third photo, I want to remove my friend from the photo to see how each one will regenerate the building in the background. So let's give it a try. In this scenario, you will see that the iPhone did a lot worse than the Pixel. You will see a lot of errors here at the top, even though my friend is not even covering this part, but the iPhone decided to add something over here, while the Pixel image looks a lot cleaner. When you take a look here at the bottom left corner, you will see the same problem with the iPhone's image. It has this weird things at the bottom left corner, which doesn't exist on the Pixel. Plus, I'm getting more options as well that look even better than the first one. So the Pixel takes the point for the third photo. In the fourth scenario, I would like to remove the ID and the next trap from the photo. So let's see which one will do it better. And after a very long time of trying to precisely select the strap, I didn't get great results out of both. But the iPhone is much worse. When you take a look at this area in my shirt, you will see that the Pixel did a much better job. 
while the iPhone messed up the whole thing and made the shirt look weird and also when you take a look at this area you will see that the iPhone is a lot worse than the Pixel and no matter how many times I try it keeps doing the same thing so let me undo some of the actions I took to show you what happens here so when I try to remove the strap from this area specifically it keeps messing up the whole thing no matter how many times I try sometimes it gets better while sometimes it gets even worse while the pixel is a lot better and the other results are even more convincing when you take a look here at the third one you will see it's a lot cleaner than the iPhone so the pixel wins this one as well photo number five is the most challenging so far I want to remove a lot of people from the shot and the most challenging part is the person standing right behind me the iPhone did the automatic selection already so I'm gonna hit erase on the pixel and try to remove people on the iPhone by tapping on them one by one and that's when the pixel approach will save you more time because you don't need to do this action like on the iPhone. Now I'm done so let's take a look at the results. For some reason the iPhone is struggling to select the bottom half of the person right behind me no matter how many times I try. As you see here it keeps adding these black spots but this is the best I was able to get. It added this black frame around my arm that I'm not able to remove and I keep trying but the same thing happens over and over again. While the pixel did it well from the first trial, here is the before and after. Maybe it missed a small part from my arm but it looks a lot better. Let's check the second result and the second result is even better than the first one so definitely the pixel wins this scenario and as you see here everything looks perfect let's take a look at the second arm and you'll see that the iPhone also has an issue over here and when I try to remove it it doesn't remove it perfectly it makes it even worse sometimes but as you see the pixel definitely wins this scenario one more thing worth mentioning before ending this video is Apple's cleanup works entirely on device so here I have the iPhone set to airplane mode and I still can use the feature normally by erasing people from the shot on the pixel to be able to use the magic editor you need an internet connection and it says here can't edit photos check your internet but you still can use the same feature on your pixel phone without internet which is the magic eraser or the older version that Google released with the Pixel 6 models and it also works same as the iPhone I didn't see a big difference in quality between the two uh, so I thought of sharing this information to make things clear so overall Google is still in the lead when it comes to the photo editing yes magic editor is available on the iPhone via Google photos but the purpose of this comparison is to see which company does it better Plus there are some features that are still exclusive to Pixel phones like reimagine that can generate a whole different background based on your command prompt, reframe that can better position your subject and generate the missing parts and more. So that's pretty much it for today that was my comparison between Magic Editor and the Apple's cleanup. Please let me know in the comments what do you think but for now thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.